Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using the TI-30 Access Multi-View Calculator. We're going to do problems with integers, or expressions with integers, and um, we're also going to consider the use of parentheses and the negative sign with these problems. All right, so let's do that first one. First one is 10 plus, I could put that four in parentheses, but I don't have to, negative four, enter. So letter A is six, letter B. This first sign, since it's an operation is between two numbers, so this would be a negative sign. So you need to push the negative button. If I push the minus sign, notice it's going to say answer. That's because it's grabbing the 6. Yep, you see that? So you would do negative 5 minus, and I don't need the parentheses here. This would be negative 1 like that. And then enter. So B is negative 4. All right, let's look at letter C. Letter C, notice that it starts off with a negative, so that's negative 8. Now, the parentheses here is multiplication, so I do need to put the parentheses there. So parentheses negative 5, close the parentheses. It's going to give me positive 40. All right, now with this one, um, the numerator denominator is actually, that fraction bar is actually acting like a grouping symbol, uh, separating the numerator and denominator. So what I can do is, or what I would want to do, is put parentheses around the numerator and around the denominator. Also, that is within the square, so um, I do have to put that negative 7 squared. I have to put that negative 7 inside parentheses, too. So negative 7, close parentheses, squared. If I don't, the 7 would just be squared, and I don't want that. Uh, parentheses, negative 2, close the parentheses, squared, close parentheses again divided by parentheses for the denominator, negative 5 minus, and here I don't have to put the um, parentheses, so you put negative 2, and then close the parentheses, and then enter. And so letter D is negative 15. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful night.